Hey you guys, it's Coffee, and today I'm bringing you an October Favorites. my channel, please consider checking out my Patreon link down below. It would really help out my channel and you get really awesome rewards and prizes as well. So I thought it would be really cool to do this on my channel because a long time ago, I think about a year ago, I merged my Chloe Taylor channel with my coffee channel. Both of them were different. There's this channel, which is mainly gaming, but then I had like some lifestyle videos that went up occasionally over there. And I genuinely just felt like the two channels needed to be one because there wasn't enough content supporting that channel. And I've been having a super itch to do more lifestyle-like content on this channel because I love fall. It's my favorite time of the year, just like every other basic YouTuber out there. Fall is bae. So I thought what better time to bring something like this in than to do a favorites video. My first favorite for the month of October was this mug that I think is actually supposed to be like a Christmas mug, but I got it in October. And it's from Target and it says warm and cozy, but the cozy is like gold. I don't know if you can see that really well, but super cute. I actually have pumpkin spice tea in it right now. Mmm. We're not going in any particular order with these favorites, so it's just kind of a, a random grab bag of whatever I see first. Uh, this next one is a candle from Bath & Body Works. Ugh, this is the Cider Lane candle. This is actually my favorite fall scent that they do. Uh, a lot of times I like also, it's like everybody's favorite, Leaves. Leaves is a good one, but I feel like last year I burned through like five or six Leaves candles and I was just done with Leaves after that. Like I have one that I bought this year and I'm still not burned all the way through it. But Cider Lane is warm caramel, Granny Smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. Up next is kind of a TMI slash like personal one, but I feel like if this is TMI for my channel, then like you probably shouldn't be here watching this if this is TMI for you. But these are soft cups, which is a menstrual disc. Uh, if you are a female and you have a period, I feel like this is a really good time for you guys to hear about this. No, none of the items I'm talking about in this video are sponsored. Literally everything I purchase with my own money. Uh, actually, that's a dirty lie. One thing in here I did not purchase with my own money, but it's not sponsored. We'll talk about that one later. But basically, they come in a box of 14, look like this. They look like this. I'll open one for you guys so you can see. It looks kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. And I'll kind of explain it to you guys. I love these. I actually hate tampons and pads. Like pads I will use as like a safety net, but I hate using just pads. So it looks like this. It's a really big circular disc. Uh, this thing kind of like comes out, so it's like plastic right there. And basically you pinch the two sides and slide it in to yourself. And it actually sits right up by your cervix and kind of catches everything. And I find, number one, they are safe. You can't get toxic shock syndrome from these, and I think that that's awesome. Number two, even though they say that they're disposable, I can usually use one or two for a whole cycle, so I'll just rinse them out and use them again. There's nothing wrong with doing that. They are still safe. Um, it is a little bit messy, I guess you could say, but like honestly, if you're worried about touching blood that comes out of your own body, like you really need to like think about that. <laughs> I feel like it took me a little bit to get over so I could understand why like some people are just like, ew, I don't wanna deal with that. But honestly, it's super natural. It's a part of most female bodies unless there's a reason that you don't have one or you've already gone through menopause. But they're honestly so great and I find that they actually help me not to have cramps as bad. Uh, which is crazy and they've actually been known to do that for some people so and I have really bad cramps and I also have polycystic ovarian syndrome so I don't have a cycle every month and when I do have a cycle a lot of times it um, will be really bad and really heavy and these you can actually keep up they say they like 12 hours is the max but there's genuinely no reason not to like nothing is going to happen. It's not going to hurt you. So it's not like with a tampon where you have to only put them in for eight hours or so. Like you can keep this one in for a long time. Like granted, I would say just for like hygiene and cleanliness reasons, you're probably not going to want to just leave it up there for your whole period. But like, you know, I can go to bed with one of these in and I can feel safe in knowing that I'm going to be okay. And honestly, I feel like they hold more, which is great. They help with my cramps. Um, and I just, I really like them. I think they work super well. They are kind of expensive, but I would say as long as you're not using like one and just throwing it away like they say you're supposed to, um, 
they actually are really worth it. Like this will last me a long time because I'm only using two per cycle. So anyways, that's my long spiel about soft cups. Um, also something to be said, they're really hard to find. Uh, the only place I can find them is at Walgreens. And that's because a company actually bought this company out and now you can only get the new ones online. So Walgreens is like selling the rest of its stock. But uh, honestly, they're so great and so worth it. And if you're having trouble finding something for that time of the month, I would recommend giving them a try. And if you don't like them, give them to somebody else. Up next, I wanna talk a little bit about food. If you guys didn't know or haven't listened to my podcast recently, I actually switched over to a vegan lifestyle and there's a lot of reasoning behind that. I'm not here today to talk to you about why or impress my views of veganism upon you. I just wanna share a couple of items that I've been eating a lot or drinking as well that are vegan, that are so wonderful. And even if you're not vegan, I think these are things that you'll really enjoy. Uh, the first thing is probably a staple in every single vegans. Uh, you can't really see that very well, but in every vegans cabinet, this is a staple. This is premium nutritional yeast seasoning. And it's great because it's loaded with vitamin B12, which is something that vegans really need. And honestly, it has, and this is not even a joke. <laughs> when I first heard this, I was like, no, no, no way that's true. But it has a natural cheesy flavor to it, but there's no cheese in it or any kind of dairy. But I put this on everything. I put this on avocado toast, I put this on bagels, I put it on vegetables, I put it in soups, I put it in uh, enchiladas, like vegan enchiladas, I put it literally on, I can't think of a single recipe that I make that this wouldn't be good in. I've put it in meatless loaf that I've made. Um, I genuinely put this on everything and it tastes really good and it's good for you. Like it's a super food, it's so good for you. And the second food item is this almond creamer from Silk. And this is the pumpkin spice creamer. I love this. I haven't been drinking a lot of coffee. I find that caffeine makes me cramp more during that time of the month. But uh, when I do drink coffee, this, honestly, I have been drinking almond creamer for so long that it wasn't really a transition for me to swap over to almond creamer. To me, I almost think it's better. <laughs> but I was so happy that this year I was able to find a pumpkin spice flavor because you know I'm basic, you know I love everything pumpkin in the fall, I'm all about that life. Um, up next I kind of have, it's not super random, but it did come out at the end of October and I'm obsessed. Uh, with Mario Odyssey. I do have a Switch. I often stream over on my Twitch channel Switch games as well as Sims and a myriad of other Nintendo games. I'm a big Nintendo fangirl, especially Mario. I actually am willing to tell you that when it comes to gaming, I prefer Mario to The Sims. Like, not necessarily this Mario game, even though this one's really good, but I prefer like classic Mario, Mario 64, uh, Mario Sunshine, all of those games like before The Sims. I'm a big Mario fangirl, huge, 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 huge for my childhood and upbringing. Um, but Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, if you guys have a Switch or you're considering buying a Switch, this game to me is worth buying the entire system. The game was so good, I beat it twice in two days. Um, I haven't 100 percent of the game yet, but I've beat like the main storyline a couple of times. And honestly, it's that good. Like it's so good. It was so good. I went out and bought the guidebook because I wanted to 100% the game. Up next is this hat. I got this at Forever 21. Let me actually put it on for you. Let's see. See how it looks on. See if I can get it to, oh, trying to get it to sit nice like. Sit nice like hat. Sorry, everything I'm doing is backwards because of how I'm looking at it right now. Okay, this is the hat. Super cute though, right? Um, I got it at Forever 21. It's mustard yellow, which if you guys didn't know is my favorite color of all time. And it was like $10, Forever 21. Super cute, keeps my head warm. My best friend has a white one and a burgundy one because we like had to match and they're super cute and they made me really happy. So $10, best hat purchase ever. It snows where I live so I need stuff like this and I'm in love. The next thing is kind of like a fashion-y item, I guess, but more like makeup beauty stuff, but is this lipstick. I actually have it on today. Uh, this is from NYX or NYX, however you say it, and it is in the color Snow White or 569. So um, yeah, great lipstick. It's a beautiful color for fall and transitioning over into winter. It's kind of like a really brick red to me. I don't know how it like looks for you guys on camera when I go to edit this footage, but in my like in 
personally seeing it, it's like a deep brick red. And then the last thing, this is the thing that I didn't pay for. Uh, these were actually given to me for a Instagram sponsorship that I'm going to be doing soon. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do. Uh, they did not pay me to talk about these in a video. I just love them that much that I want to talk about them. So um, they're these sunglasses. They are from the company. Uh, I think it's supposed to be movement. It's like MVMT movement. And let me take off this hat so you can kind of see the the beauty oh my gosh they look so good i okay so what you gotta know about sunglasses for me is i don't wear a lot of sunglasses because i wear glasses uh like i can't see without glasses like i can but not as well obviously and i don't normally spend a lot of money on sunglasses either like i'm with that person that's like oh just give me like the five dollar cheap ones da 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 these glasses have changed my mind about that. <laughs> um, I believe these do retail for about $70, so they are not super cheap sunglasses. I wouldn't say that they break the bank that much though. Like I feel in terms of sunglasses, like I have definitely seen pairs that break the bank way harder. Um, and they're just really cute. They're like this tortoise shell kind of, or tortoise, I think it's just tortoise. Tor I don't know, I think that's what it is. It's like tortoise pretty whatever and then they have this gold like the nose bridge part is gold and then they have gold here and gold here and I just think they look so classy like don't you just feel like if you had these on you could get off of a plane or like be at a beach and just feel like the classiest person there and like I call these my Cadillac sunglasses because they are so nice like don't ever try on really nice sunglasses because they will ruin you for all other sunglasses. I put these on and I was like, these are so nice. <laughs> I've never owned such a nice pair of sunglasses in my whole life. Like I love these so much. If they broke, I would purchase another pair because I think they're so nice. So I don't know. They just make me feel really feminine and classy and I like them a lot and I can't wait to get more use out of them. It's been kind of cloudy here the last little while, but Anyways, that is all for my October favorites. I hope you guys like this video. Please do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to check out my Patreon if you haven't done so already. All of my lovely, lovely, actually, I think it's going to be on this side, this side. All of my lovely patrons that support me and my content and my channel. And if you want epic rewards and prizes from me directly, please make sure you're checking out that Patreon so you guys can get some as well. And uh, I think that's all I have for you guys. I will see you guys in a future video. Don't forget to check out that below bar with all those fun links. I will try to get links to the stuff that I talked about today in case anybody's curious in getting any of this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in a future video. This is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys.